Hey YouTube, uh, before I get started in this video, I wanted to just share something real quick uh, that I got at the NARBC in Tinley Park uh, last month. Um, you know, this is, business is a lot of hard work. It's, it's really, um, you know, it's hard to find time to do the videos and everything. And it's just kind of nice to, uh, to get some appreciation, I guess, or, or some thanks. Um, I got something from uh, a young man named Xander from Royal X Reptiles. I'm just going to give him a little shout out here. And anyway, he just gave me a quick note and this lovely little keychain that actually looks like scales. So he makes jewelry and he also breeds reptiles. And uh, he just wanted to thank me uh, he just says, Garrick, you've been an inspiration and mentor to me in creating Royal X Reptiles. This is a gift to say thank you, Xander. So anyway, I just thought I would uh, give him a shout out and uh, tell him that I'm uh, very happy to help him out with everything and answer any questions that he has and to be a mentor for him. So it's one thing I can do to give back to the reptile community because I had mentors while I was first getting into this as well. So I'm happy to do it. So anyway, Xander, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And uh, so now let's get into some ball pythons. Um, so I've got a quick clown clutch to show you guys and then a, a few different pides. So let's take a look at these. Okay, this first one, uh, the breeding was pastel GHI clown and uh, to a crystal pinstripe hat clown. So, um, and it's kind of funny when I'm trying to identify this stuff, sometimes the it's such an obvious solution to figure out what a particular morph is and sometimes I just don't think about it you know like I have to actually think about it a little bit okay so the 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 mother it was a crystal pinstripe so when you breed a crystal to anything statistically half the babies are going to be Mojave and half the babies are going to be special and then because that one's a pinstripe half of the babies would also be pinstripe so I hatched four babies in this clutch and I sat there scratching my head at a couple of them, like, what could this be? It's not Mojave. What is this special? And, you know, it took me a while thinking about it to realize, oh, duh, of course it's got to be special because a crystal is going to, everything a crystal produces is going to be either Mojave or special. So you can just cross off the chance that it's not a special right there. So anyway, sometimes, you know, even us experienced guys uh, have little brain freezes occasionally and don't think about something that's so obvious. So anyway, this is what I hatched in this clutch. This first one is a jigsaw clown. So this is a Mojave pinstripe clown. Really cool looking snake. Uh, I've hatched these for a few years now actually and really nice. And then this one is a pastel jigsaw clown. Just throw a dose of pastel in there and then that's how it changes. And I'm working on adding other genes into this project as well. I think there's a lot of cool things you can do. Pinstripe Clown is, is so cool anyway. And Mojave Clowns are really nice too. So I think there's a lot of cool combos that you can do. Okay, then these are the two that I initially questioned. And now I obviously know what the answer is. This is a Pastel Special Clown. And this is another Pastel Special Clown. So I've been trying to get the pastel, I mean, not pastel, I've been trying to get specials into my clown. I did produce a special clown earlier this year, um, but I just haven't had a whole lot of luck with it so far. So, um, and I kind of wanted to hatch one that did not have pastel in it, but you take what you get. Uh, the odds are, you know, three out of four of these had pastel in the clut or pastel in the, in there, but, um, you know, that's, that's okay with me. I'll probably actually end up hanging on to this pair just because I need to get some special clown stuff growing up. Okay. Now let's move on to some pides. <clears throat> First one I want to show you is a bongo pied. Here she is. So bongo pieds have a little bit more pattern than what I was expecting. I was kind of thinking that the bongo pie would come out 
maybe a little bit more like a mahogany or even like a black pastel pied. But they, you know, they have the real dark head and they start out pretty dark up on top, but then they lighten up a bit. Kind of a nice brown with a little bit of striping on them. Um, pretty cool. I think there's some good potential. I think what I want to try to do back some more dark jeans like GHI, mahogany, and black pastel on top of this and see what I can uh, produce. I, I think the bongo could help make a dark pied even darker. And maybe it'll even help keep a little bit of pattern in there too. It'd be nice to get a get a pie that's the you know, that's black but still has like a lighter stripe down the back. That would be a pretty cool look. And I think maybe the bongo uh, pie can get us to that goal at some point. Okay, so the next clutch or I have a complete clutch here. This clutch is, came out pretty cool. Um, so this is a mahogany het pied bred to a coral glow black pastel pied. So my goal was to mix black pastel and mahogany in a pied. And whether or not there was coral glow in it would have been just a bonus. I uh, just want to try to, you know, I'm still on that quest to make a really dark snake or just different ways to make a really dark snake. So first one right here is a female coral glow. And then we've got a female mahogany pied. Another female mahogany pied. <clears throat> okay, and then we got a mahogany coral glow pied. I produced these a couple of years ago, actually in 2020, I produced a couple of these. And this is the first one from this year. Really nice bright oranges, um, light, you know, pinks, kind of purpley, lav or lavender-y a little bit. Um, really cool snake though. Okay, and now, believe it or not, the coolest baby in this clutch is actually a het pied. Check out that. That is a black pastel mahogany coral glow hat pied. <clears throat> and that one's a male and he's going to be a female maker. It's because he came from a female coral glow black pastel pied. I'm debating keeping him. I don't generally like to keep hats, um, but it's just such a cool looking snake and the fact that it's a female maker might be worthwhile hanging on to this one. But at either, at any rate, I mean, look at those oranges along the sides there and then the nice dark lavenders and then the orange striping down the back. I just think that's a really cool snake. Like. Even without the fact that it's a het pied, I would just I just gotta figure out a way to make more of these because that is awesome. So yeah, this is the whole clutch right here. Okay guys, that's it for this video. So once again, Xander, thank you for your gift. I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to be coming out with another video. I'm actually going to probably shoot it in just a couple minutes here. Uh, and that'll be out in just a few days. So I will see you guys soon. And make sure to visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm actually putting up new snakes, too. Um, over the past week, I've put about 125 new snakes up for sale. So definitely check them out, royalconstrictordesigns.com. They will all be on Morph Market as well. But anything that you can find of mine on Morph Market is also available on my website. So definitely check that out. And I'll be back again in a few days. See you guys.